Hello everybody and welcome to the first round of the Horizon League tournament here on NCAA Basketball 10 where we start this road to try to get into the big dance as we gotta win four games to go but we gotta worry about this first one first as we start off as playing Loyola Chicago they are the worst team in the league but they gave us a really hard time we nearly lost to these guys down by 20 at one point but we were able to come back and win but now it's time to get ready for some action as we are officially underway for the first round of the Horizon League tournament should be a good one so a few possessions have went by and nobody has scored yet but that might change as near we got that to go somehow but it is going to go for a miss so we're going to try to go the other way with it as Greg Albert makes a nice cut to the basket it's the first points of the game. Could be a slow scoring contest since it took so long to get anything going here. As now it's still 2-2 two to two, about a couple minutes into this game. Now we get him in a double team but we somehow pass out of it. And Eric Patterson is actually going to be called for the foul. And so now Loyola is going to take a lead here but that might change as Hebert. He gets blocked from behind but there's Greg Albert. He gets blocked. But finally, Corey Hebert is able to uh, get the basket, and it's now, we had a 7-8 lead. But Loyola does respond and get some baskets back on the board here as they rattle that one in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the worst team in the conference, by the way. They finished 3-26. They are certainly giving Wright State some fits early on, as it's an 11-10 game here. But it might be 14-10, but the corner free is missed. And now Wright State is going to try to run with it, get to crotch it in the corner. Foot was on the line, but it's two points that we can still get. And now it's 13 to 12. Next possession, no, it's an and one. But Nathan Crotchet's called for the foul, and Bill Griffith, you know, he's going to go up for the free throw. He misses the free throw. And now it's 15 to 12 here as Wright State is looking to tie this game up. They won't do it just yet, but Marcus Lewis gets an easy basket under the hoop. It's so, 15-14. Uh, and now, just a very close game all around. As now Wright State could tie the game right up here if they choose to. But it's going to be Marcus Lewis getting to the free throw line again. Nathan Richards is calling for the foul. Next possession, it's a corner free over uh, for Loyola. And so now Wright State can take the lead back again, and it looks like Copeland's going to shoot. He's going to score. And now Wright State has the lead. A very tight ball game for the first round of this Horizon League tournament as despite the big difference in records, you know, no one has been able to pull away yet as Rashadi Charles is called for the foul, and it's a four-point lead for Wright State. But looking to make it six points as Patterson, he actually gets fouled. It makes both of his free throws actually, so we have our we had our biggest lead of the game at six points, and now we might put it back to six as Patterson gets under the basket, and it's another six-point lead here. But Loyola, they aren't gonna give up just yet as they actually go under the hoop. They fake us out. Thought they were gonna try to swing it outside, but that was not the case as Loyola is now looking to make a little run of their own tie this game up but Crotch is going to try to put a stop to it as he hits the three and transition keeping them at bay it's still a two possession game but haven't necessarily pulled away yet as there's another corner free in the corner of course <laughs> as um you know actually a really interesting first game not gonna lie as there's another nice cut to the hoop makes it a 39 to 38 game and then later on Gets the and one. Lewis Eugene gets called for the foul. And so they have a chance to tie this game up. But they don't get to do it. So now, minute 40 left. We're scrambling around. It's Patterson. He gets to the free throw line. And an opportunity to tie this game up is missed. So now, Leo is going to try to get that lead. And they, we didn't get the rebound. And so Loyola has a one-point lead here with 30 seconds left. Looking to get the last points, but we almost pick off the pass, but instead it's going to be a mid-range or danger. And that's actually going to end the first half already for us as Loyola 
the worst team in the conference at 3-26. and Enjoy a three-point lead going into the second half. All right, so here we go. Starting the second half off, we're going to try to start things right here. Get it to Greg Albert in the paint. He's able to muscle it in there. And then here comes Patterson again. He's going to take a mid-ranger danger. That's good. So immediately we have the lead right back. But can we get some stops and so that we can extend this lead? And that's a no as Bill Griffith, their star player, at least that's what their star watch says, was able to tie the game up as we try to get a free of our own. That doesn't work. And then they're just going to go right to the lane. And there's Lewis Eugene called for another foul. And so it's a two-point game. Later, it's uh, Loyola passing it around. Gets it to to the paint and that's good so now they have the lead extended to four but Corey Eugene is gonna make sure that it stays reasonable as he hits a deep three just launching some nukes out there and then he's gonna do it again with this time a little mid-ranger danger that's five consecutive points for the senior point guard he wants to go dancing so badly as now Crotchet he's gonna pull up it's the foot on the line and that's some more points for Wright State. But unfortunately, they're going to be able to respond right back. No, no, they do not, actually. I thought they were going to get that one to go really easily. But instead, it's Marcus Lewis muscling it in there again. It's a two-point game for the Raiders. As later, eight minutes left. It's Greg Albert. He misses that one wide right. And now the uh, Loyola Ramblers are looking to cut this lead down completely but they don't get the shot to go but they do make both free throws it's a tie game at 60 is now Patterson has a free lane and he's gonna finish with a 40 giving us the lead briefly but Loyola does answer back with a free and then they nearly get a second three pointer to go but instead it's us running the other way and Joyce returning the favor but again the foot is on the line as Patterson, he actually misses Copeland. Yeah, it was wide open. But instead, it's going to be a transition dunk. Oh, my goodness. I am, I don't know what else to say. This is a 3-26 squad, but they are playing much better than that today as they get that long shot to rattle in. Thought that was going to miss, but of course, that is not the case whatsoever as they get to the lane again, and it's a foul on Lewis Eugene once again. They only make one free throw, but they're starting to pull away here. And Wright State is in serious danger, actually, of being eliminated from the first round of the Horizon League tournament. If they don't turn around here and with defense like that, you you can easily see why. As Loyola has an 8 to nothing run, and they are just breaking the camels back, as they say. And it's an 8-point lead now, but then... We do get them to finally miss a shot for what seems like the first time in several minutes. And so in desperation, Lewis Eugene's going to try to take it in there. He doesn't get the foul. But it is, uh, we still get the two points. Uh, the foul would have been definitely helpful. But what won't help is a breakaway uh, layup. And that's going to do it here, actually. As, you know, we, we got some junk points um, towards the end of the game. But we will be eliminated early this season well boys with that loss that we took to Loyola in the first round our season is officially over we're gonna finish the first season 14 and 16 but man does this really hurt I was hoping to go a whole lot further especially how we beat Butler twice but it is what it is and we just got to come back stronger for season two. So join next time as I'll, for the next episode of the series, I'm going to do the season one off season as well as a recap of how the entire year went. Show some stats, show who won the national championship, all that good stuff. And it should be a good one. So, you know, smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're new, hit me up in the comments if you want as well. I'll see you guys next time and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.